It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to your feel good breakfast show. It's a Thursday morning, and man, all of the excitement is right now aimed at Sun City, which That's is the epicenter right. of the dance world. That's right, because Graham is there right now, and it's all about the Roomba in the Jungle event. And let's find out more from him. Oh, thank you, my favorites. Missing you guys in studio. I hope you've had a fantastic morning. I've had the most amazing start to my day. So I've been able to find probably the one quiet corner before an explosion of music, of color, and of course, Swarovski crystals like you've never seen on this continent before. We're in Sun City for Rumba in the Jungle. I think just like every industry, the dance industry had to come together, collaborate, and fight so hard to bounce back after COVID. And they are doing it with the biggest dance festival and cultural celebration that we're going to see on our shores for a very long time. And of course, there are a few people who are as emotionally invested, not just in Rumba in the Jungle, but in the dance community. And it really is a community, community that gave me my beautiful wife and my kids. It's Harold van Buren. Harold, dude, I love you. You know that. I'm so excited for you and your, your dance family. Now that you are here in Sun City and the rumblings are starting to form, how are you feeling? Rumba in the Jungle is back. Graham, where do I start? I mean, listen to your passion, my passion. South Africa, we are here. We want to do this. Our dancers need this. The platform, the setting, Sun City is fabulous. My art is fabulous. And Graham, that is what it's about. You know me for a long time. Yeah. Dance is the thing. We love it. We want it. The dancers thrive on it. It gives them so much. They need it. It takes our kids off the street. It oh, gives them sure. a purpose. So yes, Rumba in the Jungle is the place to be. You know, there are so many tears to the dance world and I'm so glad you mentioned developmental kind of factors and we'll chat about that in a moment. But I'm learning through my experiences watching Lynn's kind of opening a world in, like my eyes into the world of dance on the top tier where you guys have lived most of your careers. How important is it to have a platform like this to come and compete here? They're international dancers, dancers from across the continent. This has got to be the biggest on the continent, surely. Biggest platform for dancers to prove their worth. Why is being able to compete in this setting, on this level, in front of these judges. So important for a, a, a dancer that's wanting to take it to that level. It is vital. Firstly, a dancer needs to dream. Yeah. It's, there's got to be that attraction. So this venue, this setting, it attracts them. It brings dancers from all over the world. The for one sure. thing about Rumba in the Jungle is that no matter where you go in the world, they speak of it. That creates a setting. You need thousands of people to create the vibe. It is always about the dancer. Yeah. So if you bring them all together from all over the world, our dancers experience them. Our dancers learn from them. The lights, the sound, the floor, the creation of the atmosphere, the creation of the event. There is so much opportunity in this thing happening that yes, dance is this focus. The glitz, the glamour, the costumes, they have to be made. They've got to be made up. Hairdressing, it's styling. It's an industry. It is an industry. <laughs> it is it really a world. Is. And Rumba in the Jungle does that. It brings worlds together. They literally explode. I've called embassies overseas, begging them, get the visa done in time, please. <laughs> send your it's best. Sent, yeah. Yes, it's, sent me, it's made me do that. So yes, it's vital. It does so much for dancing, Grace. I think we've realized in the arts that we do not work in a vacuum and um, we are all part of the same industry and the only way that I think most of us survived COVID was a strategic network by linking arms and helping each other up and being that platform. This is a, a cultural and arts celebration. There's a lot going on here over the weekend. Tell me a bit more about those connections. There's fashion here. There is culture being represented. This, this, is, a, this is a festival. Absolutely. And that is what is wonderful. There is the arts and crafts. Don't forget them. There's makeup artists. There are beauticians. There's, there's the beautiful fashion. There's beautiful jewelry. There's African art. There's so much going on. They're here too. Too. They're, in, they're an important pillar yeah. of Rumba in the Jungle. And together, we make this event happen. I mean, it inspires. It's inspiration. And the word I love, Graham, is impeccable. Impeccable. When I teach, I tell the dancer, place your feet impeccably. For sure. And that word says it all. And that is how we've all come together in this impeccable setting, creating excellence, bringing us together teaching us, allowing us to live this dream, no matter how long, but we'll walk away here 
and we would have learned and we would have breathed yeah. and we would, we'll go on and create. And you, you'll be changed. I mean, I've had some magical experiences here at Sun City. There's something grand about this that's almost old school. So I'm so glad that, yes, our best dancers are getting to experience that. But for me, it's those up and coming dancers and we're going to meet some incredible youngsters as we progress over the next two mornings. Dance is the ultimate tool for development. What do you think it gives a young person in your experience as we wrap up our chat now? Why is dance so important to introduce to young people? Not, never mind just performing on a stage like this, but that one-on-one -on -one connection with a mentor, with a teacher, striving for that impeccability. Uh, why is dance such a great development tool, do you think? It needs no words. W dance is the universal language. Yeah. It allows you to express and give. And when you do it well, you will be noticed. I came from humble beginnings and I've given myself the opportunity to travel the world. And that, I tell you, is what dance does for you. Um, it's life changing and, and you've seen it live on Expresso and my journey through Strictly, you've seen what dance can do to you. And if we can get this guy moving, then it can change the world, I promise you. But we're going to inspire you this morning with some amazing young dancers. We're going to be here for the next two mornings, immersing ourselves in all of the sparkles, the glitz and the glam. Because <laughs> Rumba in the Jungle is a probably once in a lifetime opportunity that hopefully will be coming around every year from this year on. So stick around, more excitement and love of dance on the way.